Greetings fellow pilgrims. Today we are talking about jackets. Hi there, my name is Doug. I am preparing to walk the Camino de Santiago next year. Part of my preparing for that is looking at various pieces of gear and what I wanted to go through right now is one very important piece, notably rain gear. Now today I'm only going to talk about uh, some of the jackets that I have collected to review. I'll do another review later on some of the other components in a uh, rain gear system. Let's start with this. This is the Marmot Precip. It is not a Gore-Tex jacket. It's got this proprietary material on the inside. This has been a great jacket for me for years. I don't even remember how long I've had it. But what I love about this jacket <clears throat> is that it's lightweight. It's, uh, it comes in at 12 ounces. And it uh, you know keeps the rain off. So there it is. Hood. Good little stiff brim there. You've got pretty decent controls over how it fits. So this little guy here, pull tab, will draw the hood back over your head, keeping it from doing this kind of thing. I usually just wear a hat under this, but if you don't, the brim, which is kind of jacked up because it's been in my backpack for a while, is fairly stiff. Cuffs, two pockets on the side. This one actually has not one, but two Napoleon pockets on the front. Sealed zipper, and Pit zips, okay, for ventilation. This is the Marmot Precip. It makes pretty much every top 10 list that I've ever seen, and it's often at the top of the top 10 list, especially because it comes in at a price range that's about two digits. Uh, you can generally find these for maybe $100, but usually less, um, and they're just, they're just great jackets. Now, it's not 100% waterproof. If you go out into a deluge and you're out there for a little while, yes, the water is eventually going to soak through. Um, this is not a survival jacket. This is a great day-to-day -day hiking jacket. If you think there might be rain, you stuff this in the backpack and you don't worry about it. If you know you're going out into the rain and you're gonna be there for a long time, you're gonna want something more substantial. All right, so you've decided to go on the Camino and you know that you are gonna be out there for weeks the weather in Spain is uh, often rainy. I will avoid any rain in Spain plane jokes. Um, there is a very good chance that if you are walking the Camino during a season that will be pleasant, there's a good chance you're going to get rained on. So, a couple considerations. How much weight do I want to carry? How much do I really want to devote to staying dry? Um, Unless you go in the dead of winter, you are probably not going to be facing anywhere near freezing temperatures, but you can still be extremely uncomfortable if you are getting wet. Let's talk extreme budget. This is the Frog Tog Ultra Light 2 jacket. This jacket weighs six ounces. Six ounces. It is a super basic jacket. You have nothing but elastic on the wrists. No Velcro or anything like that. Nothing fancy like Velcro. The hood, two drawstrings. That's it. That's all you get. If you're not happy with the way it fits, too bad. Now, if you had a hat on under here, which is what I do, not a problem. But you'll notice all you've got is the ring of rope right here. That's all that's going to hold this onto your head. So if you want a brim, you're going to have to supply it yourself. There are no pockets, no pockets, no pockets anywhere. There's not really any way for me to show you this on camera, but quite honestly, this material feels like kind of a plasticky tissue paper. <laughs> it is extremely lightweight. Uh, it just does, you don't even feel like it's on. There are no pit zips. There is no way to vent your heat out of this jacket. The inside is a nice, soft, tissue-like substance. This jacket does not feel very substantial. It feels like it could tear if I just looked at it wrong. Why would anyone buy this thing? It is extremely lightweight. 
obviously, that's about the only thing it has going for it, right? Wrong! The Frog Tog jacket is completely waterproof. I have taken this out in several hikes. I have been absolutely poured on. Not one drop of water got through. When I unzipped and felt the inside, not a drop. How much do you pay for this completely waterproof six ounce ultralight jacket? This jacket and the accompanying rain pants goes for less than $20. Right now it's $18.46 on Amazon. And this is not some unknown entity. This particular jacket has almost 2,500 reviews on Amazon and it's averaging three and a half stars. This is an incredibly good option. It is lightweight. It is packable. You can literally just ball this thing up and, and stuff it in your pocket. I mean, there's just almost nothing to the Frog Tog jacket, but it keeps the rain off. No fancy dual layer construction. There's no Gore-Tex. There's nothing proprietary. It's basically a coated piece of material that will keep the rain off. I don't know how long it's going to last. Walking around with a backpack is a consideration. You've got straps, you've got abrasion happening. And yet, this jacket made the top 10 hiking jackets of 2019 on one of my favorite review sites, which I will link to in the description, uh, simply because for real world use, this is fine. It's fantastic. As long as you're not walking through thorn bushes or, you know, sanding the shoulders off with your backpack straps, which they won't if they're fitted correctly, this can do the job for less than $20. You can throw the pants away if you don't like them, and this is still, by orders of magnitude, one of the least expensive rain jackets you can get, and it works. My name is Doug. Thank you so much for watching this. If this video has helped you, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel so you can follow along and click that bell so you can get notifications. And please leave some comments. If you've had experience with any of these jackets or any others that you think are great, I'd love to see those pop up in the comments because I am still in gear testing mode. I buy these jackets from places that have a very long return policy so that I can really check it out and make sure that I like it. And I've still got time to change my mind. If you can help me out, help the others out that are watching these videos, that would be fantastic. In the meantime, Buen Camino.